Hello and welcome. My name is Fano Hieber. I'm Smart Charging Coach at Vector, and I'm happy to show you today how you can test your Smart Charging project hardware independent, fast, and as early as possible in your development process. This can be done with a software loop setup with our products, the Canoe Test Package EV, and the V Virtual Target. But first of all, I would like to show you why it is important to test your smart charging project with a conformance and interability test system. Without such a test system, you have to test your electric vehicle manually against every available charging station in the field. And you just test the good case and not the error cases. Therefore, you have to execute your electric vehicle against a standardized conformance and interability test system. Our solution for conformance and interability test system is the Canoe Test Package EV. We provide you with all important test cases and the source code to these test cases. So that makes it very easy for you to add your additional test cases. We support the standard CCS, so from the DIN 7122 and the ISO 1511.8 the Chinese standard GBT34658, and we will also support Chademo. Our Canute test package EV can be executed on every integration level. So against your electric vehicle with a Chain CCS test system, against an ECU with a VT system. So maybe some of you already use some of these setups. But today, I would like to show you how you can test even earlier with software in the loop. And this is possible with our V Virtual Target. V Virtual Target is a powerful tool to create a virtualized ECU in form of a DLL. This virtualized ECU is like a digital twin of your real ECU. The DLL you just have to include it inside Canoe and execute our conformance and interability tests against this DLL. So this setup that you see here can be either created by yourself or you can order it in form of the getting started Microsoft charge package. And this setup can be easily um, extend it by yourself um, if you want to uh, add additional test cases. For example, your OEM specific test cases, your value added service test cases, your private environment tests, or additional interability tests. So you can execute this with Canoe or in future also with Canoe for software server edition on a Jenkins. So this allows that you have multiple instances of this software loop setup on a Jenkins server to execute them in parallel. So that brings me to the first big advantage of software in a loop with our setup. So we get early feedback of new code with continuous integration and continuous testing. You can execute the your test cases as fast as possible. So you're not limited to your ECU clock or your transfer rate of your bus. But I think the biggest advantage is that you can test hardware independent. So you do not, you, know, you do not need your A and B samples, which are limited in your company, or a hardware debugger. And you do not need a lot of time to flash your ECU all the time if you want to test a new software release. You just have to build a new DLL. But still, it's possible to access all internal variables, to debug, and to find the issue inside your ECU without the hardware. So if you want to know more about testing your smart charging project, visit our website, get in contact with us. Thank you very much, and see you soon.